Good morning, superstars, or good afternoon, or good evening, or good whatever time it is, whenever you're watching this. Today, we've got another story straight from space. As you all know, I am from space, but please don't tell anybody because you know I don't like my sleep. Happy Friday. Happy hat day. Thank you, Andrew, for inspiring me to be cool like you to wear my hat backwards. And thank you, Victor, for inspiring me to keep making these videos because you think I'm so. You are my number one fan. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate you. So today we've got a book from space, and it's also about food. Two of my favorite things. So let's dig in. Grab your snack, grab your seat, and let's go. This book is called Zombies Don't Eat Vegetables. And it is written by Megan Lacerra and George Lacerra. And it's illustrated by George Lacerra. Mo was a zombie with a deep, dark craving. It was dreadful, devious, absolutely despicable. Mo loved to eat vegetables. He grew all kinds of veggies in his hidden garden. And then, in his secret kitchen, he crafted celery, tomatoes, and carrots into delicious meals that he devoured with delight. Mo's mom and dad did not love vegetables. Not one bit. Veggies were yucky, disgusting, que asco. They were not allowed at the Romero's dinner table. Ready to chase some humans in the marathon next week? Mijo? Zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine, like brain cakes, brain stew, and brain and bean tortillas. Most parents insisted that their niño only eat zombie food. Finger food, mi amor? Gracias, I'm not hungry. Y'all see the finger food? It's actually fingers. Mo tried to convince his mom and dad to give peas a chance. He sneaked in vegetables whenever he could. Head of lettuce, grains, but Mo's attempts were fruitless. His parents wanted him to accept who he really was. A zombie. And zombies don't eat veggies. Mo knew he did not like zombie cuisine. And he couldn't imagine letting go of spinach or cucumbers or kale forever. If zombies are only supposed to eat zombie cuisine, Mo started to wonder if he was really a zombie at all. Day after day, Mo wondered how he could make his parents understand his love of veggies. His tomatoes were tantalizing, his cucumbers crispy, the peppers perfection. Add gar onions, some garlic, a touch of cilantro, and... Gazpacho! Holy anoli, Mo had an idea. His best yet. Mo grabbed his book of recipes. His fingers flew across the pages until he found it. The recipe for a tomato and veggie filled soup. He was sure the tomatoes would make it look bloody and gloppy, just like a zombie dish. His parents were going to devour it. Mo chopped and diced, blended and pureed, perfected and poured. Finally, the soup was finished. Mo carefully shuffled it over to the house for dinner. Are his parents gonna like it? Are they gonna know what's veggies? where he found a feast fit for a zombie. Mo, you're just in time. Pickled tongues, arroz de arroz con spleens, famiso chili con ojo, Doritos for dipping, arm panadas. Try some arm panadas, mi amor. Prime cuts. I made spicy mayonnaise. Y'all see all that food? Fingers, eyes, 
arms. Ugh. I made something for you to try too. It's called Blood Bile Bisque. Bon appetit. Give it five brains. Smells strange. Looks delightful. Cinco brains must be delicioso. They dug in. Are they gonna like it? Mo closed his eyes and sucked in his breath. This was it. They'd savor the soup. They'd ask for mas. Mo imagined breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, all vegetables. Raw, cooked, steamed, and fried forever and ever. He saw all his dreams coming true until Mo's parents did not like the soup. Not one bit. Dios mio, this soup tastes like, like vegetables. Yuck. Mo's heart sank to his toes. His plan was a bust. How many times do we have to tell you that zombies don't eat veggies? Maybe other zombies don't eat veggies, but I do. Mom and Dad, I'm different. But I'm still me, Mauricio Romero, your niño, your Mo. Mo reminded his parents that he liked chasing humans as they ran in marathons. And he promised he'd always cheer for dad during championship brain eating competitions. He also loved doing the zombie shuffle under the moonlight with mom. He was a zombie, a Romero. He just liked to eat vegetables. Mo's parents loved their son and finally accepted that it was okay to be different. They even promised Mo they would eat more veggies for him, but only a teeny tiny bit. Fried fiddlehead ferns, artichoke hearts and elbow macaroni, pata cones, ears of corn with de sea salt, dead sea salt and butter, be still my hearts of palm chopped salad. The Romeros knew that most zombies don't eat veggies, but they were more than just zombies. They were a family. Yay! And at the back of this book, they have a nice recipe for gazpacho. So if you want to try to make that, get on to Get Epic. Oh, they have more recipes in here. And you can be a cook like Mo. It's the end. I'm gonna finish my book. Get another prize? I've still read more books than all of you all. Who's gonna beat me? Your challenge for today, go make something. Go make some gazpacho. Go make a sandwich. Go make a chocolate chip cookie. But make something. Go be creative in the kitchen. I love you all. I miss you all. I'll see you at 2.30 for our next Zoom session. I wonder what we're gonna learn about. Bye.